Pastor, that's going to bring the word. Pastor Ada Martin, my mama, first lady Martin. I just want to tell you, y'all have been a big blessing in my life. Ever since I was a little boy, I didn't understand why I had to go to church sometimes. I didn't understand why I had to go. Yeah, that's something all the time. But you know, having parents like mine, you know, when you don't understand how much a parent mean to you sometimes until you're just down and out. And you turn to your friends and you turn to everybody and they're not them. But when you turn to your parents, they're right there. I'm just going to do a little song. Every time I turn around, the Lord, He keeps Sometimes I'm not. Hey, why? Wow. 
I did not want to miss it. But when I started turning my life over to Jesus, that's when my life got so much better. And I want to thank everybody that has played a big part in my life. I see so many faces from when I was little. And I'm just so happy to see y'all because it just brings joy to my heart to see the church that I grew up in. And they can tell you I'm a baby. <laughs> this is my mama, two of my mom's best friends. And I can remember my mama calling them so many times and said, child, I don't know what I'm going to do with this boy. <laughs> but I just want to thank my parents. Mom and dad, I love y'all. I thank y'all for everything. I just want to tell y'all that I love y'all. And I'm, I'm just happy that y'all are my parents. I wouldn't choose nobody else. Sometimes kids say, I hate my parents. I wish I had Michael's parents. I wish I had uh, Susan's parents. But you don't know what Susan and Michael go through. You just see the outside of things. Then you got to look at yourself. What do you do to make your parents do what they do? See, I have to realize what I did had an action behind me. Whenever I acted up, I, I didn't have to get in trouble. And over your life, you can live and not get in trouble. Your trouble might not come tomorrow, but 10 years later, your trouble might come. Sometimes people feel like that. Since I don't see no, no rain, everything is sunny. Sometimes people, sometimes it might rain over here, but it might not rain over here. Sometimes people look at somebody else's life and say, I want that life over here, but you don't know what this person had to go through to get that life. So I just want to tell somebody today, if you have not found Jesus, fine. Because he is the only one that can work out your problem. Any problem that you got in your life, he's the only one that can do it. Don't turn to nobody else. I know you need a friend, but friends go on and leave but there's a man that I know that never leaves yeah. He might pull away just to show you something, but have you ever been in trouble and before you find that last, that last part of trouble, he stepped in and just wiped everything clean? I know I ain't the only one that's been in trouble. So I just want to thank y'all for everything because y'all are marvelous, awesome parents. And there you are, the reason why I'm so successful today because of both of y'all. But my dad, he gave me something that I never ever will forget, and that's the gift of music. And I just want to thank you for that. Because of you, I was able to play for DeAndre Johnson, Grammy Award winner DeAndre Johnson. I was able to play for Fashawn for Leonard and, and more people, you know, that's high up. And that's not to brag, but it, it was because of him. Everybody know I don't brag, but it was because of him. Just teaching me, molding me, and teaching me about the love of God. So I've been in places where people didn't love God, and, and I walk into a situation, that, and then I can see that some ain't right. You know, I can see I'm different from everybody else. And I want to tell these young people, it's, it's okay to be different. I was a different person. I was always different. Now sometimes, I was a bad nigga. <laughs> sometimes in school I did things, but I never followed nobody. Never in my life. My mom can tell you, I never followed nobody. I was always my own person. I want to tell anybody that's trying to make it in life, be your own person. You can't run up behind nobody. You got to lead. And then when you start being a good leader, you might not know everything to be a good leader, but God will take who you are and mold you to who he wants you to be. So I just want to thank y'all for letting me tell my testimony and I just want to thank y'all for being the parents of my life and I love y'all.